Hey folks, Glenn May here with BassResource.com and today I want to talk to you about the split shot rig or as some people call it, the mojo rig. What that is, is you know, several couple decades ago, what we used were split shots, little round ball, lead head that uh, was opened up and what you did is you put it on the line, you crimp it with a pair of pliers and you use that as weight about 18 to 24 inches ahead of your hook. And that was a great finesse technique. And today it still works. The only difference is now people are using cylindrical type weight. And the first company that came out with it was a company called Mojo. So um, it kind of caught on that way. So sometimes you hear people call it the Mojo rig, but it's the split shot rig. Really all it is is just, a, again, a, a weight right in front of the hook, about 18 to 24 inches. Um, I use a variety of different sizes. As a matter of fact, here's the cylindrical weight right here. Look at this, look at the difference. You've got a really light one here versus, you know, this one weighs about three quarter ounce. And depending on the application that you're using, boy, you know, you can, you can fish it in heavy current, you can fish it in real light, shallow water, or super, super deep. Um, it's very, very versatile. You can use it in tannic water, stained water, really muddy water, or super, super clear water. I fished it in water where you can see the bottom in 40 feet of water. Trust me, it's really clear water, but the split shot works really well in those situations. Typically what I'm doing is I'm using it on spinning gear because I'm using the lighter weights and using a, a six to 10 pound test line, monofilament. I don't use braid for this application. Six to 10 monofilament or cold polymer line. And uh, I'm using a, a, a medium light action, seven foot spinning rod. Okay, you want that light action because the hook you're gonna put at the end of it is typically for a smaller bait, like a three inch bait, maybe a four inch bait. So you're using a, a one aught, maybe two aught hook, but mostly a one aught or one or even a two aught, a two, size two hook. So it's real small thin wire hooks and you don't want that heavy duty line and a strong rod because you may end up straightening that hook. So a medium light action, seven foot rod, six to 10 pound test line. Now, how you rig that up? What you do with this little cylinder here is instead of pinching it on the line, you use something called a pagot. That's the brand name. You can use any other brand, that, but basically what it is is a little piece of rubber like this. It's, it's thicker on one side than it is on the other. And what you do is you slide it in the, uh, in, right inside the, inside the weight. You put your line in there, put it inside the weight, and it works just like that. Okay. Then you got this big tag in, and all you do is you just cut off that tag in here, and you're ready to go. Okay, and it looks like this when you're all set and done. Here's the rig. I've got this about 24, yeah, yeah, about 24 inches in front of the bait. It's right here. And the cool thing about it is now you can move this up and down the line as much as you want. All you got to do is just wet the line, and you can move it really easily and it doesn't damage your line or anything like that. And that's a key thing. Make sure when you buy these, these weights, don't go the cheapest you can get because the real cheap ones tend to have unfinished edges and burrs on them and they'll nick your line and you can end up cutting the line or breaking off that way. Um, the difference between the least expensive and most expensive is only a few bucks. You don't have to get the most expensive out there. Just don't go the cheapest because you're gonna be disappointed. Um, at least that's how it's been in my experience. So uh, just spend a couple extra bucks and, and get a better quality line. But that's about it. That, that's the split shot rig, real subtle approach. Really good when the bite is tough. You know, post front conditions, that sort of thing. You're gonna get bit with these things and you're gonna catch a lot of fish. Hope that helps. For more tips and tricks like this, visit BassResource.com.